Oh, hi, everybody. This is Paul. Good morning to you. Um, I want to uh, tell you it's 75 degrees out here, and it's just like a postcard here in uh, Pompano Beach, Florida. And uh, we're going to get started uh, right away. I just want to give a little preface here, uh, saying that the uh, Kubi, uh, uh, Kuba, uh, welcome. You're not showing up as a subscriber, but I have my own theories why you aren't. But if you're listening, thank you. You said you're a second subscriber. I've had other people telling me that they're subscribing and it's not uh, registering, at least on my end, it's not registering. So I just put that out there um, just as a, a, you know, a preface here, okay? Now, all we're gonna do is check Bitcoin and then we're off, okay? And I won't bore you with anything going on here. 39,700 for Bitcoin, it's up uh, $250 or so today, okay? It was down to 39.4, somewhere around there at a, uh, midnight. So it's up a little bit, okay? Now, I have my theories why we're not getting this and I will show you why, because I have this going on, which is, I have many channels, okay? For example, I have like three of them right now that are active, but I have two strikes on each one. And I got strikes for telling you things like a year ago, like telling you, um, you know, it was gonna be one and done. You were a moronic, idiot, stupid retard. If you thought it was going to be, uh, you know, just easy, you know, just you know, one and done. Uh, we told you about that. And that, of course, um, you know, bought me a, um, a second strike. Some of them were third strikes. One time I even said, I came out, I, I didn't even come out and say it. What I did was on my, on the wording, you know, on the, um, uh, when you put your video up, you know, as a description, I put on this, on this newscast, gone. I had two strikes, and I owed one or two, I forgot now, whatever it was. Two strikes, you're, three strikes, you're out, two strikes, you don't even wanna carry on the channel. They can go back in your videos, find something that they don't like, that gets their panties in a bunch, and off you go. And you'll get that nice little thing there with a the cartoon of all those people walking around saying, we wanna keep this a nice community. So what can I do, right? I'm here not to make money, I'm here to try to tell you what I think. You understand? That's what I'm here to do. Not to please anyone, not to try to get you to send me money, nothing like that. So I have two strikes on my other channel and I, I, I'll I leave a link for it one of these days. And you can go have a look. There's 600 videos on there. But now there's 40 videos on this or whatever it is because I've only been doing this channel for a week. And now I literally have to carry a magic marker and a piece of paper because you just can't say things. If you say anything wrong, you go bye-bye. Okay? Anyways, let's get on with it. I'll just take you to the news. If I have time, I will take you on to a... Um, uh, an educational tour, let's just put it through that way, okay? Let's go ahead and um, uh, check out the news this morning. We'll see if anything is happening that's remarkable. All right. It says France braces record blank volts poll. Macron leads, uh, leads um, Le Pen, which is in France. There's no need to worry about that. The, fen the French enjoy making love with their faces. That's all you need to know. When you talk, you get people, like I see them on YouTube. I've made mention of this. I subscribed to a guy that was covering the Ukraine war and he's very knowledgeable um, and he wound up going missing. So he's probably being tortured and uh, killed or he's something nefarious has happened to him. Uh, he had the uh, the uh, good sense to be uh, telling all this stuff in Ukraine itself, according to what he was saying, unless he was behind a green screen or in front of a green screen. He was saying, and it looked like he was in Ukraine, in um, 
I forgot the name of it, but whatever town there he was in. So he went on and on and bloviated for hours for what I could have told you in 35 minutes or less, but I subscribed to him for a while and then I, I, I got rid of him because it was just, you know, an hour and a half of a bloviating. So, but he was a nice guy, dressed in a t-shirt, just like I do, came out and told, he obviously had a lot of knowledge, was a bit of a potty mouth, you know, the F-bomb every 10, 15 words. Yeah, I know, but basically he was telling you the way it was. Well, that wasn't gonna be allowed, okay? By whatever powers that be. They haven't heard from this guy in a long time. His name was Gonzalo, something like that. Um, Lopez and um, I'll pull it up for you here um, I had subscribed to him and I pulled it off because he thinks he's too smart you're not smarter than I am you understand and once you start telling me that you're smarter than I am that's when you go bye bye when I subscribe to people you can't do that you understand because I hold myself as a kind of Christ a lot of people don't understand that but it's not a joke now let's take a look at this missing reporter in Ukraine, Mr. Gun, Mr. Uh, Gondalo Lopez. That's him right there. He is missing. He was a friendly guy, and I listened to him, and he would go on and on and on. That's the only reason why I got him. It says Amer um, anti Zelensky Chile, and he's from Chile evidently, but he spoke with perfect English, uh, perfect American accent. Chilean journalist gone missing in Ukraine. This is two days ago, and he's gone bye-bye, okay? So uh, how do I know that he was a dunce? I knew he was a dunce, but first of all, I did not know he was in Ukraine. If he was talking stuff in Ukraine, you can't do that. I mean, are you crazy? Don't do that. Number two, he told us all about exactly what the thing that's been going on for two years, he figured it all out. Listen to me, don't you even come here and think that you are functioning as anything other than a mindless zombie. I will take care of that and educate you, not anyone else, because I am the Christ when it comes to that. And that's why they keep making me go bye-bye. And I don't care what they say, I will continue on even if I have zero subscribers because this is what I was put on this earth to do. And I'm sorry to tell you that, I don't mean to sound ultra dramatic here, but this is absolutely insane. This can't, I don't want to say it. Okay, I'll have to get my magic marker out and start writing everything down. Maybe I'll do it with a mirror or something. I mean, I, one time I even got a message from the YouTube authorities. I'm not making this up. I could show you. It's on one of those channels. I said, listen, you're not being clear enough with what you're saying. And uh, this is not acceptable in the YouTube family. You need to be more clear as to what you say. I, if you think I'm kidding, I'm not. I got a whole thing on it with the woman walking around and a little cartoon with the little people walking around. That's when you know um, you go bye-bye. All right. So anyways, his name was Gun. Gonzalo, hell of a nice guy, knowledgeable, but I understood once he started mentioning about all of his theories about what's been going on for the last two years, he's a believer. That's all you have to know. He was a believer. He thought that it was detrimental to older people. Do you understand what I'm saying? I cannot come out with this all the way and tell you, but that's because he's a stupid ass. He didn't understand, that's why I had to get rid of him. Folks, if you ever wanted to know what I am like, you can know what I am like. I'm, you can call me Nomad. In fact, I guess I'm gonna to have to call my channel Nomad up and rename it. Nomad was the computer that was found in deep space on the original Star Trek in the 60s, on that episode. And what it did was it came aboard the ship and wanted to make everything perfect. And if, he, if it couldn't make everything perfect, then it, it destroyed it. And that was the whole basis of the plot of that Star Trek, of that, that, uh, 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 that uh, episode. And that's what you're looking at right here. 
You're looking at somebody that will destroy you. That's why nobody subscribes to this channel. You don't think that it's possible for me to destroy you, but I can't because what I'm going to say is going to wake you from your zombie stupor and start making you understand. That's my, that's my job here on a moral level. And a lot of you won't like it because you're addicted to it. You have to believe it in part at least. And this is how much I believe right there. Zero. You understand? Zero. Nothing. Not even like, when you say that, I said, you're lying. There's nothing, I, I don't get anything from that. You understand? So not even a word, this part, when they start explaining it to us, they, don't believe it. Don't even believe that when they take an inhaling motion. We'll cover it another time. Okay? Let's go ahead and get to the news this Sunday morning. And we'll find out what's going on. All right. Like I told you, forget about France. They're saying that the polls are close. The polls are not close. The polls are by Russia. Those are the polls. The Polish. Forget about the polls. Uh, the French are busy making love with their faces. They're far too concerned about being controlled by the Borg, to speak of the new Star Trek, not the old one. But their brains are plugged into the Borg, which is circuit bread and circuses for the masses. That is, feel, feel free to make love with your faces and do as you're told to do. Do as you're expected to do. There you have it. Let's keep going. All right, well, this is kind of funny to some of you. Uh, as uh, Musk bids for Twitter, because he's trying to, Elon Musk is trying to buy Twitter. Um, he sent out this emoji of a pregnant man, um, which is um, whatever you want to make out of it. And he compares um, the, uh, the guy from the Muppets there, uh, I forgot the name of the one that he looks like, Fozzie Bear. I call him Fozzie Bear, but it's, it's um, Bill Gates. You know, another one that uh, is very, very anxious, you understand? And it can only be good for you, really. According to him, it can be absolutely wonderful. In fact, there's never been anything better in the entire world that's ever come out. In fact, folks, I worked at a job almost a year ago. It was in October, I believe. No, it wasn't. It was in August. It was in August, so we're coming up on it here. Do you know that this black pastor, who claimed to be a pastor, working a midnight shift, uh, told me that I should be very happy about this because it was a gift from God. Can you believe this? That's what he told me. And I, I mean, I only mentioned it to him after I got off work. I only worked there for like five days. And the, the, the guy was absolutely uh, insane, but he believed it. And so did the rest of the people in there. It was a funny experience. I remember uh, the, the clerk there because he knew somebody very close to him. They died, oh my God, they died from it, right? You know what? I had a couple words with him toward the end of my employment there. And there was only one guy there, the maintenance guy, that was savvy, but he wasn't fully savvy. He was still a believer. But he knew enough to know that being a maintenance man, uh, wearing these right here all day for 13 hours and 12 hours, he wound up getting tonsillitis from it. This is what he told me. But again, you, fo you folks don't want to understand anything, nothing. So it's not for you to believe. You understand? Not for you to believe. So don't worry about it. Now we'll just go ahead and continue on, except for what I was going to tell you. Um, I started kind of arguing, and I said, nobody wants that poison. I said, nobody, I, I said, there are people that do not want your poison. He said, oh, that's ridiculous, uh, yeah. And then he was a black guy in a very um, management kind of way. He looked like he was some sort of a, a baldy, tall guy, had a presence to him. And folks, the things that I could tell you, 
that I heard over there were just insane. Um, I kept feeding him questions, and I and and he kept going along. You want to get into people's brain about it? You listen to me because I'm the Christ of this. Do you understand? And it's going to destroy your mind. That's why they keep shutting me down. You do not want to believe anything other than what you're told. If you think people are dying, then you think that people are dying. I believe nothing, zero percent. I don't believe anything that they say, not one single thing. That's the difference between you and I. That's why you can come to my feet and you can worship me as Christ because I'm the only one that's going to tell you what I believe is the truth on this. And that is the people are zombies. They're going to do exactly as they're told. They've been doing it for two and a half years and they won't be happy until we go into a lockdown, much like they have in Shanghai, where children are going to school in hazmat suits. That's what you want here. And you'll demand it and you won't settle for anything less. After all, you could die, right? You don't want your freedoms. You don't want your liberties. You don't want your dignity. You don't want anything. You want to be safe. You want to be told that you're safe. So you're mindless zombies. What else can I tell you? Right? Folks, when I was at that job, uh, that the tall baldy there that thought he was the manager and all that, he, he, um, and it was a black guy, right? To be fair, it was a black guy. And I started telling him, I said, look, you know, what do you, what's going to happen if people don't do this? I mean, what are we going to do? Do we take away their children? And you know what? Every time I asked him something more and more draconian, you know what he would say? Well, we, it may come to that. What does that mean, idiot? Well, it may come to that. Well, what do you think? Should we put people in jail if they don't want to do this? Well, it may come to that. Well, how about, I mean, should we like pull out their fingernails? I, I didn't say that, but you understand where I'm going with this. And this guy was a complete believer. His friend died for God's sakes. I mean, how much of a, of a bastard can you be? So, um, it's right out of the blue there, another tall black guy, not, not quite as intellectual looking, walked in with a knapsack, and this was a ritzy hotel. And he comes up to the counter, and the guy looked at him, and the, the uh, baldy there looked at him, and he says, can you believe that this, this, this guy here says that this doesn't exist? He says, don't you want this? And he goes, you can keep that out of my body. I don't want anything to do with it. And, and the guy was stunned. I said, brother, I respect you, little brother. I said, how old are you, 35 years old? He goes, 36. I said, little brother, I respect you. At least you think, and you're not acting like a mindless zombie. Boy, that, the sooner I was out of there, the better. I'm telling you. It was unbelievable. The pastor felt like this was, this was made by God. Folks, I'm not getting into it, okay? I'm not getting into it. I can't. You know why? Because I have no on this channel. Got it? So we're going to keep it like that. Let's just go ahead and run the news quickly, okay? I'm sure there's not much of, of news anyway. So let's, let's finish this out. Okay, French busy making love with their faces. They're going to uh, shun Le Pen, okay, the rabbit, Le Pen. And they're going to put that um, uh, uh, she-man in there again, okay? Macron, Mr. Mr. Mrs., you understand? Don't worry about it, you don't understand. The French are busy making love with their faces. That's what's important to the French in France. Thank you. All right, well, this is good news. Airlines substitute buses for planes as pilot shortage persists. Well, no problem. You see, the pilots go and they get a lot of poon from the stewardesses. A lot of you don't know that, but uh, they are very busy in their social life with these stewardesses. They do not want this because they don't know what's going to happen when they start dating these stewardesses. You understand? A lot of you don't understand that. I know all about this. Therefore, a lot of pilots have quit. They have gone to other uh, airlines that don't require them to do this right here because of the mindless zombieism. Zombies, walking zombies. You've got young and you've got old. And when you get old zombies or people that don't learn, there, there's an old saying, and I'm 60 years old, 
there's no fool like an old fool. Do you know what that means? I didn't know this until like maybe like a year ago. When you have somebody that's so gullible and so stupid and so believing lies and nonsense that they continue to believe them and remain a prisoner of nonsense like this, then you've got an old fool. You can have young fools too, but old fools are worse. That's why I'm here, to save you from this kind of nonsense. There is no fool like an old fool. That's somebody that makes the repeated mistakes over and over and over again, and they don't learn. They think that they're smarter than a Christ, like me. Let's move on. So, no pilots. Who cares? Okay, Disney, uh, you might want to stop promoting left-wing agendas, and then uh, you'll wind up having money so that you don't have to tax your people into $164 million for this next year. Because our governor, the, I don't like our governor. Let me, be, let me be clear about that. But at least we didn't have to do this here. And I know that you people said that we're not forced to do this right here. But believe me, folks, if you wanted to go to a urinal and use a urinal, you were going to have to do this. You understand? So you can run around in circles with your nonsense garbage. We were forced into doing it. Thank you. I didn't do it. I left that to the old fools because the old fools got every one of these. Why? Because they're old fools. They believe the same thing over and over and over without learning. That's an old fool. You understand? All right, so no problem with taking the bus for 400 miles. Who cares? No pilots, who cares? Take the Amtrak. Okay, so DeSantis is taking away the special privileges from Disney because Disney has become a promoter of the rainbow. You understand? And I'll leave it at that. And I already told you about this. If you look at my channel, that those people were responsible for doing some of the best things in the world, including saving us from the Germans in World War II with the Enigma machine. They, one of those people broke it. They repaid his efforts by killing him, essentially. I won't get into it. By the way, it was illegal to be homosexual in England in 1950 or uh, 49. It was illegal to go to jail for it. And people did. Okay, so uh, Disney, big problems with Disney. Sorry, folks. I know I'm running late on this. Um, time to head for life, folks. What would give you that idea? What do you mean run for lifeboats? If you do this right here and you take and put on this, everything's going to be fine. What in the world would you worry about? You take a boat or you take a bus instead of going on a, a plane. Who cares? The important thing is that you do this right here. Put that on and you'll be safe. You understand? You're zombie, mindless, idiot, fools. There's no empirical evidence, by the way. Well, we want to make sure we're safe. We got to make sure we're safe. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea to do this because we want to be safe. I uh, know you don't. You want you want bite me to get in again. Well, that has something to do with it, but uh, no, uh, we didn't like Donald Trump, so we have to make sure we wear this because this will be like a thing where we can get uh, like bite me to go in for another term. We need to get everybody equal. Everybody has to be equal. I already know all about it, fools. I know all about it. You're gonna, you're gonna fool the rest of the people, not me. Sorry, folks, we're almost done. I keep getting booted off here in my animated self. Well, actually, my connection is slowing down. We'll move through this quickly now, okay? A man dies after setting himself on fire by Supreme Court. Well, that's a hot item. Uh, book, Jill, that's Bite Me, Bite Me's wife, you know, Mr. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, you mean there's nobody there? <laughs> that's a real knee slapper. God, we got to get him in for another four years. <laughs> How you doing? There's nobody there. <laughs> Fantastic. I think that's wonderful, bite me. I think that's wonderful. 
Fantastic. Why don't you make it a law that we have to wear 10 of these? And then all the people will be real smart. They'll be real smart people. Gotta make sure. Not your choice, but make sure we force you into it. Because you're so smart. Not stupid like me. <laughs> it's a real knee slapper, folks. Stupid idiots. All right, Johnny Depp is all laid out. I don't know what the problem is with him. He used to be so handsome. Now he's all messed up. He's in court over something. All right. Five suicides among sailors from same ship raises mental health concerns. Well, it's obvious. They died of you know what, okay? It's, it's obvious. I mean, use your head, folks. They died of that. You know the, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm sure they'll be diagnosed with that <laughs> upon their autopsy. <laughs> we gotta get these things back on. This is most important for you mindless idiots. <laughs> Remember, do as you're told <laughs> and don't question anything. These people won't learn a thing, nothing. In fact, they'll probably go and put three masks on after this. You understand? They're mindless zombies. It's just like 1978's Dawn of the Dead. They will do as they're told to do. Sorry, folks, I'm only going to read it if it's interesting. Shanghai reports record daily deaths in current outbreak. My God, we all got to get hazmat suits on. That's the answer. My goodness. We should just be forced. Not forced, but if you want to do anything, we'll have to be forced. We'll have to be recommended highly to put on hazmat suits. I can't wait. I'm sure they'll be air-conditioned and provided for us. Bite me, we'll get us all. It'll be fantastic. Beijing warns of grim situation. For those of you who are challenged by the English language, grim means like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> it's getting more and more grim. All right. Update, Brazil holds first carnival since, uh, you know what I'm talking about? It says the, uh, you know what I'm talking about, I can't say it. Orrin Hatch is dead at 88. Uh, shocking claim, world to run out of food in 27 years. Will Smith seen for the, the first time since he slapped uh, Chris Rock. Pro-Russian social media accounts spread fake Zelensky cocaine video. <laughs> you don't have to look too closely to understand that he's probably very likely on cocaine. <laughs> and he's an actor and has a $35 million spread over here in Miami Beach, but you mindless idiots are all good. He's good. Zelensky good. Putin bad. Bad Putin good. Zelensky. That's why you got mindless idiots. You understand? Zelensky good. Good. Because you're mindless idiots. You don't understand one thing about it. You come to a Christ, come to my feet, kneel down, and you'll be a lot better off. I've never demanded, and you can ask anybody about this on my other station. I have never demanded that anybody treat me with a level of respect higher than Christ. I never have. Girl dies after being forced to drink whiskey by grandmother. Whiskey is harsh, you understand? It's harsh. And that's it, folks. We are done. Uh, feel free to worship at my feet. Subscribe, it's the same thing. Now you understand why I don't get subscribers. God bless you. Bye.